Well, Tulsa City leaders are hosting the third and final Improve Our Tulsa meeting tonight. We told you Mayor G.T. Bynum presented a $772 million package aimed at funding city improvements, including streets and housing. Nearly a quarter of a million of dollars of that would go to city facilities. Two News Oklahoma senior reporter Justin Ayer lays out what could be in the works if voters approve it. Nearly $250,000 will go towards city facilities, including parks. I'm at Mohawks Golf Course right now where golfers tell me this facility here has seen some drainage problems over the last few years. At 95 years young, avid golfer Hugh Burley is tired of seeing this. I think the um, problem of drainage is a severe problem. It really makes the course much more difficult to play and uh, certainly not as pleasant. And it's been that way days after rainstorms, he says, for 15 years. We saw it ourselves. Nearly 32 million would go toward park improvements, which Burley says would get put to good use. Hage Bulger uh, needs a lot of help, as does the other course. More than 25 million would go to the Tulsa Zoo and close to 80 million at the Tulsa Performing Arts Center. I stopped by a few months ago. It's a daily struggle in our building. And if there's one thing that's on the top of their list, it's building a public safety complex. Think of it as a central location for police and fire, since this is what the current outdated and cramped headquarters are dealing with. We spoke with both chiefs about it from a safety aspect. A lot of what we do today uh, requires us to work together. Now, if the Improve Our Tulsa renewal passes, the city wants residents to be made aware that it will not increase taxes. In fact, property taxes and sales taxes will remain stable. In Tulsa, Justin Ayer, 2 News, Oklahoma. If you'd like to see a full list of what's on Improve Our Tulsa, go to our website, kjrh.com, and click on this story.